Hi guys, liquid moly valve clean really works not just for the intake valve but for the combustion chamber. Here's how I went from piston tops with substantial build up like this to these clean pistons using liquid moly valve clean. And best of all, you don't need to disassemble anything or use elbow grease to get the carbon off. I ran my experiments over more than a month and I'll share what I've learned so far and how I think you can get the best cleaning out of this product. Now let's get this. I'm doing this on my 2017 Honda Accord and we'll start by getting to the spark plug holes so that we can use a borescope camera to establish a baseline on how the pistons look before using the Pumoli valve clean. I'm focused on cleaning the pistons and not the intake valves. I was basically drawn to this product because it clearly states that besides cleaning the intake valves, it cleans the combustion chamber as well. Using this depth step borescope and starting from cylinder one, we can see some carbon buildup in the center and edges of the piston with some other pale colored deposits which have obscured the indentations on the top of the piston. Moving over to cylinder 2, we observe the same build up even though it would appear that this is more and the valve reliefs or indentations on the piston are barely visible. Switching over to cylinder 3 and it's the worst so far, check out this mound of carbon build up on the left, it's definitely going to be a reference point for how effective liquid moly valve clean would be. And finally it's cylinder 4 which basically has a similar build up pattern to cylinder 1. Now that I've established a baseline it's time to put things back together and proceed with seeing how well liquid moly can clean these dirty piston tops. Everything is back as it should be and per the instructions, I run my gas tank close to empty. Liquid moly states that for best results, it should be added to every tank of gas. With this in mind, I plan to use the product consecutively for a month to see how well it would do. First can of liquid moly goes in and I fill up the gas tank. For this first treatment, I basically drove as I would, a mix of city and highway driving, but I made no conscious effort of trying to keep the revs up or driving a wide open throttle. Soon I was close to empty and I proceeded to review the cylinders. For cylinder 1 it looked as though the non-carbon deposits increased a bit. The story was the same for cylinders 2 and 4. However cylinder 3 which had the raised carbon mound looked like it had ever so slightly reduced. I went for the second liquid moly can, refilled the gas tank and this time added some good Italian tuning. And my plan was to do a 100 mile trip pushing the car really hard with wide open throttle driving as much as possible. To keep the revs up, I drove mostly in sport mode and at the end of this trip, which ended up being 160 miles, I decided to review the cylinders again once the engine had cooled down. And across board on all pistons, there was a significant amount of difference. The center area of the pistons were much cleaner and the triangular area between the valve reliefs were now clean and clearly defined. Cylinder 3 was the most improved as you can see, even though the amount of carbon that we have next to this valve relief wasn't yet complete completely gone. With this result, I decided that with each fill up, I would do around 100 miles of wide open throttle driving. Since liquid moly states that a can can treat from 25 to 75 liters of gas, I decided to do a double flusher for the third treatment to see if the rate of cleaning carbon would be accelerated. However, by the time I got to empty, even though there was some cleaning, I didn't really see any massive improvements from the more concentrated cleaner and so I decided to revert back to using a single can for every tank of gas. I did two more fill ups to which I added liquid moly and these two tanks had the best results. For the next one which is the fourth fill up, I continued my approach of doing a 100 mile plus spirited driving, keeping the revs as high as possible and by the time I got to empty, cylinder 1 was the cleanest I've ever seen it since I bought this car. All piston indentations can be clearly seen. At this point I knew that I had struck gold with liquid moly. Moving on to cylinder 2, it wasn't as clean as cylinder 1. Cylinder 3 was looking exactly like cylinder 1 all the indentations were visible with very minimal build up. I hadn't seen this engine this clean even in a previous video where I tried a different fuel system cleaner. Cylinder 4 was identical to cylinder 2 and still had some build up, especially the orange tan brownish stuff. Because cylinders 2 and 4 could still use some cleaning, I decided to do a final fill up with liquid moly, keeping the same routine of driving at least 100 miles of spirited driving. When the tank finished, I ran two more tanks of clean gas without any liquid moly and returned back to normal driving without excessively pushing the Car. And so after 1,900 miles of driving, 6 cans of liquid moly, 5 fuel tanks plus 2 tanks of clean fuel, here are the final results compared with the baseline. Here's the before for cylinder 1 and here's the after. You can see here that the piston crown is definitely much cleaner and the difference is night and day. By the way, if you're loving this, do consider leaving a thumbs up 
and subscribing it really helps to promote and grow this channel for cylinder 2 here's the before and here's the after this cylinder was much improved as well and for the first time i could read the inscription a2a that is stamped on the piston crown cylinder 3 as well here's the before and here's the after much cleaner and the amount of carbon that you have on the left in the before is clearly gone very similar to what we saw in cylinder 1 as well for cylinder 4 here's the before and here's the after also looking good and clean with a little of the brownish deposits left although this product doesn't contain any PEA which has come to become the industry standard for cleaning carbon I must say that this is the best I've seen these pistons one thing I've learned doing this is that liquid molly isn't one of those snake oil products and you really get the best out of it by repeated use I also add that spirited driving definitely helps with the whole cleaning process I'll leave some links in the description to everything I've used in this video hope this has been helpful Catch you on the next one. Peace.